Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. Today is January 31st and we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our opening song is Glory and Praise to Our God, number 537 in the Gather Hymnal. Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Again, we gather in the presence of the Lord with family and friends, mindful that God uh, speaks to us. But sometimes as we pray in the psalm, our hearts are hardened to what he's saying us, how he's asking us to live when we sin. We turn to the Lord now and ask him to remove from us the hardness of our heart and the sins that keep us from following him as we seek his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is, this is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will rise up from them a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Lectura del libro de Deuteronomio. En aquellos días habló Moisés al pueblo, diciendo, El Señor Dios hará seguir en medio de ustedes, entre sus hermanos, un profeta como yo. A él lo escucharán. Eso es lo que pidieron al Señor, su Dios, cuando estaban reunidos en el monte de Jereb. No queremos volver a oír la voz del Señor nuestro Dios, ni volver a ver otra vez ese gran juego, pues no queremos morir. El Señor me respondió, está bien lo que han dicho. Yo haré seguir en medio de sus hermanos un profeta como tú. Pondré mis palabras en su boca y él dirá lo que le mande yo. A quien no escuche las palabras que él pronuncie en mi nombre, yo le, le pediré cuentas. Pero el profeta que se atreva a decir en, mi no, decir en mi nombre lo que yo no le he mandado, o hable en nombre de otros dioses, será reo de muerte. Palabra de Dios. Your hearts as at Meribah. 
As in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I shall, look, I shall like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, yo quisiera que ustedes vivieran sin preocupaciones. El hombre soltero se preocupa de las cosas del Señor y de cómo agradarle. En cambio, el hombre casado se preocupa de las cosas de esta vida y de cómo agradarle a su esposa. Y por eso tiene dividido el corazón. En la misma forma, la mujer que ya no tiene marido y la soltera se preocupa de las cosas del Señor y se puede dedicar en, el, en él en cuerpo y alma. Por el contrario, la mujer casada se preocupa de las cosas de esta vida y de cómo agradarle a su esposo. Les digo todo esto para bien de ustedes. Se lo digo no para imponerles una trampa, sino para que puedan vivir constantemente y sin distracciones en presencia del Señor, tal como conviene. Palabra de Dios. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. People were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. 
Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. Jesus' fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. In the lives that we lead, in las vidas que eh, vivimos, we prefer to have free time, vacation time, off time, than work time. Eh, queremos tener eh, tiempo libre, vacaciones, en vez de eh, trabajar. But the truth of the matter is, pero la verdad es, for all of us, que para todos, we all have responsibilities. Que todos tenemos responsabilidades. As a person of the earth, we have a responsibility to take care of the planet. Como una persona del mundo, tenemos eh, la responsabilidad de cuidar nuestro mundo. If you're married, spouses have a responsibility to each other. Si están casados, eh, los casados tienen una responsabilidad entre eh, uno a otros. If you have children, of course, responsibility to the family and to each other. Si tienen hijos, tienen responsabilidad a sus hijos y a su familia. At work, we have responsibility to our job. At school, responsibility to our studies. En el trabajo tenemos responsabilidades y en la escuela tenemos también responsabilidades. And as children of God, we have responsibilities too. Y como hijos de Dios también tenemos responsabilidades. You've heard me say many times from this place. Eh, me han escuchado decir muchas veces aquí en este lugar. As people of faith, como gente de fe, one of the most important responsibilities we have una de las más importantes responsabilidades que tenemos is to help others get to heaven. Es de ayudar a otros llegar al cielo. We have that responsibility. Nosotros tenemos esa responsabilidad. Falls to each of us. Y nos cae en todo de nosotros. We are called by our words and our deeds. Somos llamados de nuestras palabras y nuestras acciones. To help lead people in the ways of the gospel de liderar a gente a mane al evangelio Help them get to heaven. y ayudarlos a llegar al cielo. No es inusual que me pidan que haga un montón de bendiciones. To bless cars and homes. De bendecir casas y carros. Rosaries and statues. Rosarios y estatuas. Bless people on their birthdays or anniversaries. De bendecir a la gente en sus cumpleaños o sus aniversarios. Believe it or not. Y aunque no lo crean. I've even been asked to do an exorcism. También me han pedido hacer un exorcismo. That one I didn't do. Esa yo no hice. But you know, a lot of people get worked up about exorcisms in the Catholic faith. Pero si saben, mucha gente habla del exorcismo en la fe católica. In part because of Hollywood. En parte por eh, lo que vemos en el cine. But it is a ritual in our faith. Pero sí es un ritual en nuestra fe. That isn't for every priest to do, by the way. Que no es para cualquier sacerdote que haga. But if there is a formal request for an exorcism. Pero si hay un, uh, si hay un requerimiento formal para un exorcismo. It doesn't just happen like that. Eh, no solamente ocurre así de rápido. There's a, a pretty intense investigation. Hay una investigación eh, muy profunda. And part of that investigation is psychological testing. Y parte de esa investigación es eh, un examen psicológico. And far more often than not. Y muchas de, eh, veces. It's discovered that the person who thinks they're possessed es descubierto que la persona que piensa que está poseído is suffering from a mental or emotional distress. Está sufriendo de eh, emocional o mental eh, estrés. And many scripture scholars y muchas eh, escrituras have said that when we have stories like we have in the gospel today que dicen que 
que dicen que muchas escrituras que como tenemos historias de la que escuchamos hoy the man that Jesus meets with an unclean spirit que el hombre que Jesús eh, conoció con el espíritu eh, maligno could very well have just been mentally ill que tal vez estuvo eh, mentalmente enfermo and Jesus healed him y que Jesús lo curó he called those spirits to come out que llamó a esos espíritus que salgan you know we can be possessed by all kinds of stuff eh, si saben, nosotros podemos ser poseídos por un montón de cosas. We can be possessed by pride and the desire to have all kinds of things. Podemos ser poseídos por el orgullo y el deseo de tener un montón de cosas. We can be possessed by anger and hate. Podemos ser poseídos por el enojo o el odio. Those things can take over our lives. Y todas esas cosas nos pueden tomar nuestras vidas. That's why we have to turn away from sin. And be faithful to the gospel. Por eso tenemos que eh, arrepentirnos del pecado y ver hacia el evangelio. Because when we do that, we're going to the Lord to say, "Heal me." Porque cuando hacemos eso, le decimos al Señor, "Cúrame." Ask those things that have possessed me that are not good to come out of me. Le decimos eh, todas esas cosas que no son buenas, quítamelas. And in our beautiful faith tradition. Y en nuestra eh, hermosa eh, fe. Of course, we have the act of uh, the, uh, going to confession, that sacrament to help us with that. Tenemos el sacramento de la confesión. But even when we pray at Mass. Pero también cuando estamos orando en misa. Think about it, at the beginning of Mass. Eh, piensen, en el principio de la misa. We have the penitential rite. Tenemos el acto de eh, penitencia. Where we pray, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Que le pedimos a Dios eh, misericordia, al Señor misericordia. We're appealing to the mercy of God to free us from those sins that can possess us. Y le pedimos a, al Señor que nos quite esos pecados que nos poseen. And even before we receive communion. Eh, antes que recibimos la comunión. Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. Le decimos al Señor que nos eh, somos... Eh, Dichos importantes eh, de estar en, en frente de él. We're acknowledging to God we need his help. Y estamos dándonos cuentas que necesitamos su ayuda. We need his help to fight against the sins that can take over our lives. Que necesitamos ayuda en pelear contra los pecados que nos pueden tomar el control de nuestras vidas. Turn us away from how God would have us live. Y de, eh, y que nos, eh, que nos manda a vivir en maneras que no debemos de vivir. You know, we, we all have anxieties. Todos tenemos preocupaciones. Especially right now, huh? Especialmente ahora. You know, we all have a desire to do things differently. Todos tenemos un deseo de hacer las cosas diferente. But right now, Pero ahora, we're called to be patient. Somos llamados a ser pacientes. We're called to rest with the Lord. Somos llamados eh, de descansar con el Señor. For our hearts not to be so hardened by doing it the way I want to do it. Que nuestros corazones no estén muy endurecidos por querer tener la manera que queremos hacer las cosas. Or by doing the things the way I think we should be doing it. O hacer las cosas de la manera que yo pienso que debo hacerlas. To listen to the Lord who... Pero, pero si escuchamos al Señor... Who frees our hearts up from being hard. Que nos eh, libera nuestras corazones. Who is telling all of those sinful natures in us. Que le dice a todas esas cosas pecadoras en nosotros. Come out. Que salgan. Set us free. Y nos libera. Because he teaches with authority. Y como él eh, enseña con autoridad. Only Jesus can do that. Solamente Jesús puede hacer eso. That's why we have to rest with the Lord. Por eso tenemos que descansar con el Señor. We have to listen to his voice that's calling us out of sin. Por eso tenemos que escuchar a su voz que nos eh, dice que nos salgamos del pecado. We all have responsibilities in life. Todos tenemos responsabilidades en la vida. But all of us as children of God. Pero todos como hijos de Dios. We're called to love him completely. Somos llamados a amarlo completamente. 
love our neighbor as ourself. De amar a nuestro pójimo como a sí mismo. And in doing that. Y en hacer eso. And having hearts that are open to receive what God wants us to do. De tener los corazones abiertos de la manera que Dios quiere que hagamos las cosas. We then are possessed by the love of God. En ese momento nosotros somos poseídos del amor de Dios. And when that rules our life. Y cuando eso nos eh, posee nuestras vidas. When that governs what we say and do. Cuando eso gobierna de lo que hacemos y decimos. We're on the way to heaven. Estamos al camino hacia el cielo. We're helping others do that too. Y estamos ayudando a otros a hacer eso también. That's our responsibility as Christian people. Esa es nuestra responsabilidad como gente cristiana. To turn away from sin. De alejarnos del pecado. Be faithful to the gospel. De ser fiel al evangelio. Listen to Jesus. De escuchar a Jesús. Be caught up. Y de ser, eh, eh, de ser. Be possessed. De ser poseído. Not by the sins of this world. De, de ser poseído no por los pecados de este mundo. By the love of God. Pero por el amor de Dios. Which calls us to new life. Que nos llama a una nueva vida. May our hearts not be hardened. Que nuestros corazones no estén endurecidos. By sin. Por el pecado. So we can hear the word of God. Para que podamos escuchar la palabra de Dios. In the words our faith has taught us, we make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. It is humbly now, as God's people, we ask him to hear us, to listen to our words in prayer petition. For all leaders of our Catholic faith, may God continue to give them the gifts of discipleship to prepare us for heaven. Para todos los líderes de nuestra fe católica, para que Dios continúe para darles los regalos de discipulado para prepararnos para el cielo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all states and nations, may the Holy Spirit cleanse their hearts to lead us to a kinder nation and world with God present. Para los líderes de todos los estados y naciones. Que el Espíritu Santo limpie sus corazones para llevarlos a ser una amable nación y mundo con Dios presente. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our parish and our sister parish in Haiti, may we always seek to put God first in our lives. Para todos los miembros de nuestra parroquia y nuestra parroquia hermana en Haití, que siempre veamos para poner a Dios primero en nuestras vidas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this Catholic Schools Week 
for our students, teachers, staff, and parents. Oramos por esta semana de las escuelas católicas para nuestros estudiantes, maestros, el staff, y los padres. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our church members, families, and friends who are sick, may they have smiles and laughter with the comfort of Jesus' love. Para los miembros de nuestra iglesia, la, de nuestra iglesia, la, nuestra familia y nuestros amigos que están enfermos, que tengan sonrisas y felicidad con la comunidad del amor de Jesús. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have passed from our earthly world, may their guardian angel continue to guide them to heaven. Para nuestros seres queridos que han fallecido de nuestro mundo terrenal, que su ángel guardial continue guiándonos a ellos hacia el cielo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and concerns we carry in our hearts. Por las oraciones y preocupaciones que llevamos en nuestro corazón. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who frees us from our sin, hear our prayers and strengthen our faith so that all we say and do be found pleasing to you and help our brothers and sisters on their way to you too. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Our presentation song is number 687 in the Gather Hymnal, The Summons. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we now bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and change them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it was you who laid the foundation of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all of its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. So now with the angels and saints we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Tomen y comen todesteo, porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Ambrose, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. It is now the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. el Cordero de Dios. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. Jesus, you are the high priest. Thank you for giving us your saving body and blood in the Eucharist. Please help young men from our parish to respond to the call of the priesthood. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple brief announcements. Just a reminder, you can sign up online to join one of the Lenten Bible study groups that's forming. Solo un recordatorio que ya se pueden inscribir en línea para, eh, para registrarse para uno de los estudios bíblicos que están en línea. And also, Friday is First Friday. Y también que el siguiente viernes va a ser el, el primero viernes. Seems like, seems like they come around once a month, you know, and that's um, 
but uh, we will have adoration uh, beginning at noon. Eh, vamos a tener eh, la adoración a la Eucaristía empezando a las 12. And it concludes with evening prayer and benediction at 6 p.m. Y se concluye con eh, la oración en la tarde y bendición. So stop by the south door will be open so people can come and, and pray in church uh, anytime during the 12 to noon to 6. Y las puertas principales van a estar abiertas ese viernes para que pueda orar y en, para que pueda entrar y orar en, empezando a las 12 hasta las 6. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass here is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Praise be to, be God. to God. Our closing song is Christ Be Our Light, number 512 in the Gather Hymnal. Later this week, we celebrate the Feast of St. Blaise. Esta, esta semana celebramos el Día de San Blas. Of course, traditionally, we have the blessing of throats with the candles. Y tradicionalmente tenemos eh, la bendición de las gargantas eh, con las velas. This year, we're not able to do that with the candles. Este año no lo podemos hacer con las velas. But I extend to all of you the blessing for St. Blaise. Pero les extiendo a todos la bendición de San Blas. Through the intercession of Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Por la intercesión de San Blas, Obispo y Martir, que Dios te libere de todos las enfermedades de la garganta y de cual criera otra enfermedad. En el nombre del Padre, Dios, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Stay healthy. <laughs>